Hello, welcome to the video. Um, got a, a short one today. Um, I want to have a look at this. So way back when, when it was my birthday, I decided that um, for one of my presents, I was going to have one of these and it was pre-ordered for me. Um, I've got it and I haven't opened it. So I thought I'd unbox it on a video. So this is the 8-Bit Do. And if you don't know what they are, they make a lot of um, adapters, controllers, um, and sometimes now keyboards for retro machines. As you can see here, this is, um, I believe, a Bluetooth and um, uh, 2.4G key. Well, it says it right here, <laughs> a keyboard, and you can use it on USB. The point of these things is for retro devices. Now, these come in different flavors, so you can get a, a Nintendo themed one. And I wanted this one because it's obviously Commodore. And um, it's, it's modelled on the Commodore Breadbin, Commodore 64. So, yeah, let's open it up and have a look. He says, bloody hell. Okay. Now, I haven't opened this other than to take the cellophane off the outside box. So, this is actually the first time. Okay, let's get the keyboard out of the way. Um, right, it looks like there's some stickers. An 8-bit do manual. Yeah, more stickers. Whatever that is. Quick start guide. Okay. And some other weird stuff in the bottom. So, let's have a look. We've got a USB-C. Um, what is this? This feels weighty. Hopefully you can hear this. It's a joystick. And this is... Have a look here. Okay. Right, so this is actually a joystick. Um, actually feels quite good. It, this must have some kind of weight in it because it's got some heft to it. It's got a very nice um, silicon cable. Um, yeah. Feels pretty good. And that top bit just pushes in and out. Didn't know you got a joystick with it. How about that? So let's put that back there. And ah, there's the uh, the connection for it. Yeah. Okay. Let's put this away. It's a very strange connection that is. One, two, three, four, five, six pins. Okay. So again, um, like a previous video, I've got the camera on a gooseneck. I may knock it because it's right where I am. Sorry about that if it starts shaking. What's this over here? Again, this is really heavy. And that's on another sort of three and a half mil connector. So you've got a joystick and two buttons. That's actually really nifty because, I mean, you, you can really give this some Ned Ted and you can hear it's a micro switch. It's a proper switch. Very nice. Again, the cable is that soft silicon type. So you, you can feel it's got a bit of quality to it. Now, I don't know if you've used 8-bit do controllers before. Uh, I've got a few of them. I really like them. Um, I've got several retro controllers. Um, I bought my boy one as well um, to go with a Steam Deck. It's 
they're they're nice really nice um they make some good stuff so all this looks good let's get the keyboard out now of people of certain age you're gonna why's the light on what the hell is the light on so um, let's open this up I don't know why it's obviously got a battery in it yeah we've got a flashing white light over here um okay not really sure what the hell's going on there that's not oh, there we go right so as i was saying people of a certain age i.e my age um remember back when you had computers with mechanical keyboards this wasn't a new thing this wasn't a uh, you know an elitist thing or anything like that it's just that the first pcs that come out um they had mechanical keyboards so we've all got used to going through the 90s and the 2000s with these cheap plastic um dome type keyboards so just yeah so these type of membrane keyboards are much much different whereas a mechanical keyboard each switch is a switch on its own so this particular keyboard is a mechanical keyboard uh, not a mechanical look or mechanical feel is a proper mechanical keyboard so each individual switch is a proper micro switch oh, listen to that yeah you can hear it Look at that. So obviously a switch up here switches it from uh, Bluetooth off and 2.4. You've got volume control here. That's on a, it feels like it's on an encoder. Yeah, it is. And it's detented. So it sort of locks per division. Nice. Got some other buttons here. And it's in a very nice bread bin type styling. And not only that, the lettering and everything is very much like the commodore 64 done a really nice job clearly because it's turned on um it's got batteries in it and must be rechargeable um yeah and back here you can see the 8-bit do um dongle this this is going to be familiar to anyone else with an 8-bit do device is that oh god yeah it's magnetic <laughs> nice there's rubber feet on the back here this looks absolutely superb and it fills it too i can't oh yeah yeah um i do like a mechanical keyboard my mega 65 if you haven't seen that video check that out the unboxing on that that too is a mechanical keyboard and that's got silver kayla type switches that are much more silent this however is um the clicky type so if, you, if you're used to mechanical keyboards, you'll know that you have two families of key switch types. One is a more silent and one is a clicky. And as you can hear here, that is definitely a clicky. And the difference, I think, inside is like a, a rubber bumper ring. So that it, it dampens the sound. But this, this feels brilliant and it's, it's got some heft to it as well. Now, you can use this on a PC, on a, a Mr. FPGA, on all sorts of things. Um, Raspberry Pi, doesn't matter. This this should be able to be used on most devices. I think the only one that you're going to have a struggle with is um, the PS2 type. Um, but that's clearly, you know, something completely different anyway. Um, it's possible. Um, it might work with one of those um, adapters that you plug in. Although... I'd have to try that. I do have an Xberry Pi, so that's that's a good that's a good shout actually because I might actually try that on there and see if this works because this is what I'm planning to use on my Mister. Um, it actually feels brilliant. The only thing that um, lets it down is the lack of um, uh, the number pad. 
and I'll come to that in a minute. So yeah, this this is excellent. For for what comes in the box, you get the joystick, you get the two big buttons. Um, it really is nice, really nice. I've got no complaints here at all. Um, what's it say on that? I was just looking at the, uh, here we go. Let's have a look at this. There we go. So yeah, it tells you ABS keypad, mechanical switches, um, hot swappable, whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, programmable keys. Yada, yada, yada. There we go, look at that. Weight, just over a kilo. So it's definitely got some heft to it. I do like this little joystick as well. Very nice touch. Uh, what have we got here? Five volts at one amp. Yeah, nothing too strange. I, I Like I said at the beginning of the video, I plumbed for this one over the Nintendo one because obviously I like Commodore stuff. So, But the N Nintendo one does look good as well. Um, there's no two ways around that. It's just a different color scheme. It all works the same. Um, I'm assuming you get the same buttons and little mini stick and that sort of thing with it as well. Now, I also, um, I've got the, the numpad on pre-order. Now, the numpad is a separate number pad, but in this case, it's a calculator as well. I know that sounds strange, but trust me, it is. So, yeah, I've, I've got to wait. I don't think they're actually being released till the end of um, September or something like that, end of August, something like that. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll do a, a quick unboxing video on that one when I get it. But for now, this is really superb. Really superb. Yeah, for for what this is, uh, these these switches are rated to uh, like fifty million presses. So it's gonna it's you're only gonna buy one and it will last you forever, pretty much. It won't be the switches that let you down. And the fact that you can use it on USB means, well, you you've got multitudes of options for connections. You should even be able to connect it to other stuff like um your phone even if you wanted to um your Steam Deck. Um, the, the 8 bit do controller is absolutely phenomenal on the Steam Deck, <clears throat> so yeah, it, it's really really nice and definitely worth what they're asking for it. Which at the time of pre order, I think is something like 60 quid or something, but yeah, superb. So, yeah, quick unboxing video, I'm gonna give this one the big thumbs up, absolutely superb bit of kit. And uh, I'm going to be checking it out and plugging it in pretty soon. So, the only thing left to say is, as always, check out my compadres in the description. They've got some YouTube uh, channels and they do YouTube repairs and stuff like that. All good stuff. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Later.